Now just imagine an application that gave you access to over 100 live TV channels that you can enjoy on your Fire Stick, on your Nvidia Shield, or really any Android device. Now this application has a cable TV like interface. You don't need to use any kind of mouse toggle. I'm not using a VPN and most of these channels are in full HD. So all of that great content across all of your devices, absolutely free and now in full HD. So do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now the application in question is called View TV and a big shout out to one of my viewers who actually told me about this application. Now the two key things about this application are number one, the registration process, which can be a little bit fiddly. It can be a little bit tricky, but I've done it a few times now. So please do watch this video to the end as I show you exactly how you can get this looking like what we can see in the background. And the second thing is the availability. So this application is only available on the Amazon App Store. Now, if you do want to install it on your NVIDIA Shield, you will have to side of the application, which I will show you at the end of this video. Okay, so when you start the application, once you've logged in, this is what you'll see. So at the top here, we can see we have sections for TV channels, movies, TV shows, favorites, my account. Now, a key thing is when I click on my account, here we can just confirm that I've got a, a free account, free to view, and it expires on April 2022. So just to confirm that it's absolutely free, doesn't need any kind of payment information, no credit cards, just follow the steps I'm gonna be showing you, and you can also enjoy all of this content. So let's start from the right. So let's go with TV shows. Now the TV shows and the movies in here are fairly old, so you're probably not gonna see anything uh, too recent in here. Let's back out of that. So not much uh, excitement in the TV shows. Let's go back up one. And probably the movies are even less exciting. But just to show you that this is the kind of content in the free movies. So stuff like this. So fairly old. Let's back out of that. And then we have TV channels. So let's click on that. And here we can see we have a library of over 100 channels that we can enjoy on all of our devices. And, and you can see guys, these are proper live TV channels, which you will recognize. So for example, we can see the Food Network. If I click on that, and literally within a second, that starts streaming straight away, and that picture is in full HD. Now, whilst you're inside a channel, if you press left on the remote, you can see now I can actually use this to navigate to other channels in the same genre. Let's back out of that. Then you've got a section for news, you got kids section, movies, plus one, shopping. So let's say for example, looking for some uh, Gems TV, click on that, that starts streaming straight away. And once again, if I wanna press left on the remote, I can see the other channels in that category. And if I press left again, I can now see all of the channels. So it really does give you that cable TV like interface where you can navigate through all of your channels and then use your remote to watch something else. Let's back out of that. Then you have religious section, music, international, and you also have some local channels. So here you have TV uh, Cambridge, uh, TV Cornwall, and so on and so forth. And let's try one of these. And we're in there straight away. Now let's back out of that. Just to show you that everything inside here, guys, is working absolutely fine. Here's a UK section. So if I click on view all, we can see all of the channels in there. Uh, so let's say for example, I'm looking for uh, for some Dave. Let's click on that. And we're in there straight away and that's working absolutely fine. And the key thing about all of these official streaming applications is because they're official, you'll see that you won't get any kind of buffering when accessing this content because the companies behind them have the bandwidth and the infrastructure and they can easily handle all of the users that try to access their content. So you can see guys, just lots of great channels lots of different categories, and most of them are in full HD. So that was inside the UK section. And you also have another category section on the left here. So if you're looking for uh, USA, for example, I can click on that and then see all of those channels in that category, including Blaze, which I recently reviewed. 
And let's try one last one, which is, uh, let's go for Court TV. And that's working absolutely fine. No buffering, no stuttering. And that's working great. We can also add channels into our favorites. So if I go to Court TV, I can click on Add to Favorites. That's now done. And let's just add one more. Let's go over to the Food Network. Let's click on Add to Favorites. Let's press back on the remote. So now on the home screen, if I go to the top, I can go to favorites and then access all of my favorite channels. So a great application, works great on the Fire Stick. I'm not using any VPN, but if you do have any issues where you can't access the content, I've also tested this with IPVanish, setting my location as UK, and I was able to access all of the content in here. Okay, so let me now show you how you can get this on your Amazon devices and also your Android TV devices like the Nvidia Shield. So on the Amazon devices, just go left on the home screen and then just search for View TV. So here we are. So View TV, third one down. Let's click on that. And we have the View TV for Amazon. Click on that again. So it is a completely official application available directly on the Amazon App Store. Let's click on that. Give that a second. And for your Android TV devices, use an application like Downloader, navigate to my website, which you can use a short code of just 53402, or just type in techdoctoruk.com. And when you get to my website, head over to the hamburger menu, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get View TV on your Android TV device. So let's open that up. And if any of you guys are still with me then, if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag live TV, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Here we are, let's scroll down. Here's some information about the application, view TV, scroll down. And underneath all of that, you'll have two links. So the first one is a link on how you can register for the application. And the second one is the actual application. So let's click on that scroll down and click on the green download button click on install and that's how you get view tv on your android tv device and this is what you see when you first start the application so it's asking for a login a username and password so let's leave this as is and let me now open up a browser using my phone or you can do this on your computer so on your favorite browser just navigate to kapang.com really strange name but this is what we're looking for so it says that I watch TV everywhere for free. That's what we like. So let me now go to the top and click on where it says login. Here we are. So I'm now going to use a real email address, but if you like, you can create a temporary email address just for this application. So let me use my PC doctor email address. So PC, okay, that's my email address. I'm just gonna do an easy password. So click on I accept and click on next. So this is why you have to use a real email address because it does send you an authorization email that you have to click on. So let me do that now. And this is what it looks like. So I just need to click on verify your email address. Click on that. You can now enter in your details, but as you can see guys, it, there's no verification, no checking, just, just entering anything that you like for your uh, first name, surname and billing address and click on next. And this is it guys, we now have to select our plan. And as you can see over here, we do have a completely free plan, which is zero pounds and zero pence. So let me now click on select plan. And we have the option for one month free, but I think we should go for the 12 months free. So click on that. It says, do you want 12 months for free? Let's click on confirm. And here's a final confirmation. We're gonna get 12 months of free TV. Click on subscribe. It says here, waiting for payment status, even though it's actually completely free. So it's all successful and you know it's successful because in your browser, you'll now be able to access all of that free content. But now I can jump back onto my Fire Stick. I can now click on login with my username and password, click on username, and now enter in that same email address I used to register. So that was just PCD, enter in my password, click on done. Now you do have to create a profile the first time you log in. So click on add profile, just give it a totally original name. TD UK, click on next, click on done, leave the icon, leave the restrictions, click on done again. And just like that, absolutely free. We've now logged into this application 
and we have access to all of the content in here. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you are always looking for more ways to watch free live TV legally. So I do hope you like this video. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.